Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're back doing one of our favorites. This is Snack Crate. Snack Crate is a subscription box. We get it monthly and this is the medium sized box. It's about 25 bucks mm -hmm. with shipping included. That's right. We've uh, been getting it for a couple of years now. Yeah. And it's something that we really enjoy. We haven't had that many repeats a couple of times. A couple of times. But in two years to have a couple of repeats, not that's too bad. not that bad, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, and I think only one box was full of stuff that we'd already tried before. The other repeats uh, had new stuff. Right. With and with our memories, even if we try, we try so much stuff that yeah. even if we tried it a year ago, it's like all brand new to us if it gets sent to us again. So the reason we bring this up is there is a salutation always on the snack crate box and we're wondering if maybe we've had this country before. We're not sure because the salutation is the same. Yeah, it says bonjour. Right, which the last time we got that, it was Canada, which is not gonna hurt my feelings no. at all if it's Canada again, but that would be the third time getting Canada because right. we've actually had Canada twice. We're hoping for France. Yeah, we've never had France. So, yeah. I mean, and it's a country cool. that is known for its food, but not so much its snacks. And right. I don't know that I've ever had a French snack ever. French food for sure, but French snacks? No. Never. So, never. so either way, it'll be, I mean, um, if it's Canada or it's France, I, I mean, either way, I think it'll be a good outcome. Are you ready? Let's open it up. All right, let's get this thing out. Let's do it. We still have our knife from a subscriber. Now that we're home from vacation, we're going to be working on getting us into our studio and then all of that stuff that was in our old studio will be unpacked. So look for that soon. All right, let's see what it is. France! Yay! Woo! That's exciting! That's exciting! Wee wee! That's exciting! Alright. Always comes with an, a sheet that describes what we have. Alright, let's get this stuff out of here. I took a couple of years of French when I was in high school and um, I could maybe tell you a couple of words or identify a couple of words if I saw them, but I don't remember much. <laughs> Not at all. Here's your little cheat sheet. Yep. And let's get, this is savory. All right, so we always eat savory to sweet. And as I would have expected in my wildest dreams that this, <laughs> The French box is mostly a sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I, they did not ship us, you know, pastry. I mean, a little bit. We'll, sort we'll, of. We'll get to try it a little bit. Yeah. But one crispy bit in the whole lot. Um, and these are words that I don't know. Roti. Le I know I know. I know I know that word, but I don't remember what it means. Um... That's what it looks like. Let me describe it to you. These crispy potato chips are bursting with the succulent flavor of savory roasted chicken straight from a farm in the French countryside. Nice. Mm. All right. All right, all right, all right. We love a good meat crisp, don't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. I don't know that that smells like chicken to me. It just smells like... Seasoning. Yeah, chicken seasoning. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm. Good chicken flavor. Definitely. It does taste like rotisserie chicken. Mm hmm. I don't know how to tell you the flavor of rotisserie chicken versus. Regular baked chicken. chicken or whatever, yeah. but that really does taste like rotisserie chicken. Like how the skin tastes, it's so seasoned and mm-hmm. Yep. That hits the nail on the head, exactly. It's exactly what it tastes like. I like it very much. It's delicious. Out of all of the savory stuff, 
This is my That's your one. favorite? Yeah, that's my favorite. How, since it's just one, we don't have anything to compare it to, how would you rank it? Uh, 7.5. Seven and a half. I feel like it's maybe an eight. Here's what I'll tell you. I really like it very much. However, I don't know that that's a crisp I could eat all the time. That would be an every once in a while kind yeah. of thing. Um, because it is, I mean, that's how I am about everything. I don't always want salt and vinegar. I don't always want barbecue yeah. or whatever. I like to mix Variety. it up. I can see that being in, and I'm only like that with certain things like soda. It's always the same. Um, I can see that being in regular rotation every sure. few bags or something. Yeah. Really, really good. All right, where do you... And I would rank it maybe like an eight. Okay. Where do you want to go next? Let's do this stuff. All right. Want to? Let me the cookie stuff. Yeah. How about Lulu? How about her? Let me find... I'm definitely doing a palate cleanse. Chicken and chocolate is not a thing <laughs> for me. Lulu, this sweet bear-shaped sponge cake is filled with rich, decadent milk chocolate, making it the perfect treat for any snack-worthy occasion. Oh. We've had something like this before, and this is the kind of thing that always gets me. I am a sucker for cute packaging. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. It looks a little mm. grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of somebody I can't quite put my All finger right. on. Who this reminds me of. Let me get an up close here. Mr. Grumpy Bear. And look at his belly button. <laughs> I bet if he had a t-shirt on, you could see his belly button through the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I can't eat his head. I'm going for feet. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. And you'll eat the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> Not the rest of it. Hmm. It's nice. Yeah, it's like a typical snack cake, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's like a little dry. Mm -hmm. It's not terribly dry, but it's a little dry. Sometimes we say this when we get a snack crepe. Sometimes the things um, are a little bit different than maybe if we could go to a shop and get them because they've been sitting, holding, right, waiting to right. be sh shipped out. So I don't know if they always taste like this or if it's a snack crepe issue. Just a little bit dry. They're all right. I like them. The flavor's good. Yeah, I agree. Yummy, yummy. Okay. All right. Let's see what's next. Saint. Let's. Oh, yeah. You want to do those? Yes. Those ones? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> the they're teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. With a chance of becoming your new favorite cookie, these bite side treats are the perfect combination of sweet crunch and buttery delight. We recently went to Jungle Jim's International Market, and there was not that much from France. That they, I mean, that was a. A small section yeah. we had hoped for more but when I saw like little French cookies and stuff we had to pick them up we picked up a couple of things but I'm glad and then this came and I was like oh yeah that supplements yeah. that need for wanting something French that teeny tiny cookie needs to be a lot larger mm. or a lot more of them because that's good mm. Mm. that's so good that has great texture. Yeah. Super thin. It's kind of like shortbread vibes. Yeah. But super thin. Love it. Yum. Okay. Oh, yum. That's that's awesome. Okay. Mm. You want to try this? Uh, sure. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's um, I believe shortbread. Oh, let's try that because it's most similar to what we just tried. All right. Here you go. Okay. Nothing really for you to see. A French favorite for a good reason. These crispy, sweet, and buttery shortbread cookies topped with a generous layer of rich chocolate. I love all of those words. Ooh. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. That is like a super thin, like, chocolate bar stuck on top of a cookie. That's yeah. 
thicker than what I thought. Yeah, me too. It was gonna be. Okay. I thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. I should have just given you the rest of the cookie. That's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wasn't sure how it would feel because I'm pretty much, I like my shortbread. Don't go messing it up by putting yeah, other flavors. Shortbread is so good. But that chocolate's with, really good too. Yeah, it's so good without anything, but yeah, that's good with that chocolate too. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Now this? Yeah. All right, so these are St. Michael Madelines, named after the royal chef of King Louis the Fifteenth. These divine little cakes are soft, buttery, and lightly sweetened. A must try for own, for an a must try for any dessert lover. Gotta learn how to read. Right. <laughs> there you go. Watch this. This got this little tear thing. Whoop. What else Shut do we have? In there? <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. Are Whoa, they all the same? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, they're all. It looks the, like all the oh, same. you know what it looks like? Little teeny tiny loaves of chocolate chip, like banana bread or <laughs> yeah. something. Oh my goodness. Cheers. These are gonna be. I mean, they gotta be good, right? Right. Oh, they smell good. They're so good. The texture is amazing. Yeah. They're the kind of thing that could be dry, but they're not. And the chocolate, I like that the bits are teeny tiny. Me too. So like in every bite, you're getting a couple, couple little bites of chocolate, but it, the chocolate doesn't overpower the little cake whoa and I, could, good. I could appreciate the comment that they made about the sweetness because the cake itself is not very sweet at all mm -hmm. so you get little bursts of sweetness in there from the chocolate that's good <laughs> yeah it's those good. Are good it's good all right next this says Mikado Mikado chocolate noir these buttery biscuit sticks are dipped in rich dark chocolate yeah noir is is it dark? dark? Black? Black. Yeah. I can't remember. Making them an ideal match for your cafe a lot. A lot. Of what? Cafe au lait. <laughs> ole! Ole, 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 ole. Which? Ah! Uh, <laughs> or as a quick snack on the go. How about that? I don't see a little tear thing, smarty pants. Oh, yes I do. I mean, I don't know if it was actually there or I made it. These what if remind these are corn me. flavored. I hope not. I'm kind of triggered. There's several companies. There's Pretz that does little yeah. sticks like this. Pocky does little sticks like this. Generally speaking, we like them. But one time we tried sweet corn ones and they were despicable. One of the worst things we've ever tried on this channel. I stand on it. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that dark chocolate just hits right away. It does. Whoa. Woo! That's good. It is uber dark chocolate. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had like dark, well, I guess I should, I have. Usually, what I was trying to say is usually when I have dark chocolate, I just have a little square of it or something, or it's yeah. in a truffle form. I don't know that I've had many like cookies or baked things or this kind of thing, like dark chocolate with something. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. That's good. I what is like this it. little thing? Is it a cookie? Yeah. It's not sweet. You get all the sweetness from the yeah. 
chocolate. For sure. Whoa, and John loves dark chocolate. Oh, that so good. Those are gonna go in the freezer, huh? Uh, maybe. Next, we've got Nestle nuts. They melt on your hands as well as in your mouth. Nutty, creamy, caramelly, and deliciously coated in milk chocolate. This Nestle chocolate bar is a heavenly treat that you won't be able to, to resist. I'm allergic to nuts. I suppose there's nuts in it because it says nuts. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of your concern recently when I ate something that had almonds in it. I'm not hyper allergic to almonds. I'm not even as allergic to peanuts and other things as some people are. You know, I can be sitting next to Jen eating it, but I did not have a reaction. And I've eaten a couple of things with nuts on accident um, before and have had very little reaction or no reaction at all. So, knock on wood, someday I won't have this problem, but for now I'm gonna be as careful as I can be. That's a really good bar. I love the nougat in it. I don't taste any nuts in it though. What? That's crazy. It's like nougat and caramel. I like the uh, sound of that. It's tasty. But since it's nougat's... called nuts, I don't think I should. Right, I don't think so either. The But the nougat is really soft. It's good. Okay, <laughs> next. Oh, next, next. What's this one? Sunday bar? I torture myself. <laughs> Nestle Sunday. Okay. Crispy cornflakes add a delightful crunch to this salty sweet treat while the dark chocolate coating provides a rich, indulgent flavor. Crispy corn flakes? What? <laughs> Here's what it looks like with its clothes off. Just put you back in there, so. There okay. you go. All right. Corn flakes, huh? Different. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> like a granola bar versus like a candy bar or a chocolate bar to me yeah yeah it kind of feels like that too the it's kind of like um crunchier rice crispy bar sort of like the bottom part is crunchy you can probably hear that mm -hmm. but yeah it's stuck together like that with the chocolate that is tasty yeah, I like it. I don't love it. I don't know if I had a whole bunch of choices that I would choose that. But if I'm thinking about it as like a granola bar, which we don't know how these are intended. They're just all thrown together. We put it in with chocolates and candy bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, if you were thinking about it as a granola bar, I really like it. Like I could see eating that, you know, as a little snack while you're out or whatever. Yeah. Um, the texture's different. I like a little bit more chew in my right. granola bars, but I think it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. All right, let's do it. Let's, do you wanna go first or second? Uh, I'll go second. Okay. Since I went so, first last time. Okay. Um, hmm. Who's first? This for me then I'm not gonna labor over it too much because you know so these chocolate chip little loaves were first those were perfection in my opinion I really 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 liked them next was the cookie with the layer of chocolate you know this little chocolate bar on top. i really liked i liked the idea of it and i like the flavor of it as well i love how decadent the dark chocolate is on these little sticks i really liked that i really liked this i mean this a is little a tiny tiny, tiny little it's almost like what you would get like um you know, as a little like special treat, like after dinner, here you go, here's a cup of tea right. and a little, I don't know, um, very um, fancy feeling. I don't know that it is, but how little it is makes me feel tiny. like, oh, I couldn't possibly eat <laughs> yeah. a whole cookie. I'm just gonna have a little nibble. It feels nice. Um, then the cornflake 
bar that we just tried. It's okay to me, don't love it. And then the other bear. If I'm gonna eat a pastry with chocolate kind of thing in this genre, I would go for these way, like over and over and over again over the bear. Hmm. I liked the bear, fine, but I just like that one more. Okay. That's my order. Don't right. forget to mix in your nuts. Oh yeah. <laughs> I won't forget to mix in my nuts. I love this teeny tiny little cookie. That's number one for me. Okay. Uh, number two. Uh, number three is the bear. Um, uh, number four would be the shortbread cookie with the chocolate on it. Number five would be the nuts. Then would be the, the stick. Mm -hmm. And last would be the cornflake bar. So neither one of us really loved this and we both really kind of liked the same things from the bear. Yeah, except you didn't like the bear. Be happy to take that off your hands. All right. The thing is, though, I love how the bear looks. I love his grumpy <laughs> face and his belly button. I mean, I do have a thing for that kind of look, I would say. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right. Now, sweets. Those are last for sure. Okay. You know the squishy thing? that I was like, oh, I don't know what these are. At some point, we had to take a break, but you'll see there was an edit where we had to switch off the battery, and I looked at this closer, and I realized these are cola flavored. Laura and hates things cola flavored. This is the squishiest gummy thing I think I've ever felt. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it's real nice. This, this is first. Oh, you wanna sure. do that one first? Yes. Haribo Roulette Cola. Love the fizzy taste of carbonated cola. Yes. These gummy discs are bursting with that iconic flavor. And they're a perfect snack anytime, anywhere. Why are you reading like that? <laughs> Here, no, 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 you gotta smell. Okay. Don't they smell good? Yeah, oh, you got one? Mm -hmm. I better get one too. Okay. Ooh, look at them. Cheers. Cheers. High expectations. Hi, Laura. They taste fizzy, huh? We do? They're not sour, but you can almost taste like bubbles or something. Okay. You know what's so strange to me? What's that? For as soft as they feel, they're pretty chewy. They are pretty they chewy. They feel like they wouldn't be, but they are pretty <clears throat> chewy. Yeah. It's like chewing on one of those pink rubber balls, kind of. No, not like that. They're not that chewy, but they're chewier than what they feel like. That is really good cola flavor. Mm, not bad. You mm. like it, huh? Mm -hmm. Good, mm -hmm. good. All right, shall we stick with, oh, they're all Haribo except for these. Mm -hmm. Haribo. What's next? Uh, let's do those that mm. you have in your hand. Another thing of high expectations, because look, I see little bottles on here. Oh yeah. I don't know what that means. Haribo Orangina. Orangina, yeah. Thick. These tasty citrus flavors of the ever popular Orangina soda are the perfect complement to these soft, chewy, and slightly sour gummies. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. This is gonna be a Laura snack all day. They smell so good. They do smell good. I don't know if they're different, cause some look like, we'll have to- They look to like the, little potions. Yeah, we'll have to, here, here, here. We'll have to get to oh. the bottom of it and see if they're, I don't know if they're all the same flavor or they're not. Which one are you trying there's first? There's yellow and then there's red. Uh, I don't I'm care. going yellow. All right, let's go yellow. Uh, cheers. cheers. Sour. Sour. Mmm. They're pretty good. Tasty. Mm -hmm. I like them. They have the same kind of coating. Go ahead. It's like a sour patch coat. You know that? Like yeah. ascorbic acid, like <laughs> sugary stuff on the outside. 
same flavor. Mm, so far it's just sour. Mm. I think mm. it's a different flavor. I don't know. Well, I can figure that out later. Because <laughs> that was a whole lot of sour. Mm. That is a whole lot of good. sour. Good, good, good. I find it difficult when we're doing these videos because typically this is the kind of thing like if we're watching TV or we're playing a video game or whatever, I will sit and let it like dissolve in my mouth and I'll kind of suck on it and stuff. John's like, <laughs> so I got to chomp through it. Mm -hmm. All right. Next is this. All right. Haribo Tagata phrase. Okay. It says red original on here. Tantalizing French taste buds for over 50 years. These little gummies are packed with strawberry flavor and dusted with a fine coating of sugar. Okay. Thanks. Doesn't feel like Ooh. a gummy. No, it does not. Not so far. They look almost like bubble gum. About hard as a rock. Hear that? <laughs> Ready, go. Not too hard though. Whoa! Yeah. I don't know what I'm eating. It keeps <laughs> like changing. Yeah. I thought it was hard as a rock and then it just kind of melted away and... Mm-hmm. Yeah. A um, little bit of strawberry flavor, a lot of sugar flavor. <laughs> yeah, but I... Haribo. Do, anybody watching you know does this treat candy sweet whatever you call it come in other flavors right i strawberry is not my favorite flavor we've said this a million times but i'm so curious because i loved the texture it is a little bit hard on the outside when you put it in your mouth it just starts to dissolve it yeah. is not a gummy really at mm. all in my it opinion like one. it just kind of like falls away it's nice that's different texture than anything i've ever had yeah. i think yeah yeah it's good props i'm so curious i'm gonna have to look all right um, now we have these little things yeah and that, i don't know i don't like the looks of these <laughs> i don't like what they i'm gonna try to read it but it might get blocked by the sensors well here's the thing anything that has like little cautionary <laughs> things on them makes me think it's uber spicy uber sour uber something right and the person or person the fruit or the per whoever this is trying to eat it is having a like i think that person's name is teats teats brulee they're like kate brulee they've got little um what do you want to call it? Like tears coming off their eyes. Oh. So that makes me a little nervous. Well, let me uh, read these or read the description. TT's Brulee. Aptly named, these hot headed chewy candies have an intensely sour coating that melts away to reveal a soft and sweet and fruity center. All those things. Um. What's this flavor? I don't know. I feel like that's apple. Yeah, I would probably think the this same. This I don't know. Yeah, what is this one? Can we get some clues here? Let's. No clues. Mm, this is strawberry. I don't remember that word. Oh, okay. And we don't usually Google. We like to fly by the seat of our pants. But that kind of... <laughs> and this one is apple. I'm going apple. All right. I'm going whatever flavor Laura said this one was. Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay. okay it doesn't look perfect. that sour. My size just like... Well, it looks, well, you know, just like a chew. Okay. Cheers. But whenever, like I said, there's cautionary stuff on the packaging, I'm going to... Listen. That's sour. Whoop. Oh. I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I have the teensiest, tiniest little bite in my mouth. 
Real Woo! Sour. Woo! That's sour. I like the apple flavor though. To tell you the truth, I like it. I mean, the strawberry tastes like strawberry, artificial strawberry flavor, but that's sour. Woo! All right. All right. What'd you, so what'd you think of them? I wouldn't They're buy good. these. I, I wouldn't buy them, I don't think. I like the idea of them if they weren't sour. Like just a little taffy right. would be great. I mean, not that sour. That's like crazy make your eyes water. I mean, it says it on the packaging. Look, I could see. She's crying. No, she's crying. Yeah, <laughs> I could see getting some of those, but not necessarily those flavors. Like if they had other flavors, I might get them regularly, but. Okay. Apple is not really one of my favorite candy flavors and neither is strawberry, so. All right, how would you put these in order? Favorite to least favorite. All right, favorite for me are these Haribo little Orangina oh bottles. Um, choo -choo. Then I'll go with these little Haribo egg things, the cola, and then the TT Brulee. He's butchering that, I'm sure. I can't oh, I, see I, without. I, absolutely, I am. I cannot see without my glasses on, but I know that does not sound <laughs> like words uh, in French. Listen, no, <laughs> no offense to anybody that speaks French, but I have not a lick in me. I can't, I can't do it. So I have no idea how to pronounce things. I'm I know. Just, I'm just, you know. I'm just teasing. Here's the thing: we love when you let us know how to pronounce something when we don't know how to pronounce it. We don't love when we're pronouncing something that is English that we say in our country and you say, you're saying that wrong. No, we're saying it like Americans say it. Right. Which so anyway, doesn't necessarily mean wrong. Means different. That's right. So if you know how to say that word or any of these words that we mispronounce, please do come to the comments and let us know. Um, yeah. This was my favorite. It was? Wow. It's so different. And this judge gives high marks to that. I wanted to love this more than I did. Mm -hmm. I really, like, I thought we were going to have a moment. I do like it. I just don't love it the same way. I love how different that is. I wish these were a different flavor. And, it, like, if these were pineapple, for example, or blueberry, or banana oh, yeah. or grape or orange or anything other than strawberry which is not our favorite flavor i think you might like that better than yeah. if it were strawberry um but i like the cola thing it the chew was just so different that's that's my order all right i liked them all there you have it what were your favorite things in the box um uh, I really like these. I thought that these were very flavorful. I like the coating on the outside and the flavor of the the gummies. Um, uh, I I really like those chocolate chip things. Those are My good. favorite things in the box are these two right here. Yeah, those are good. I really do like the roast chicken lays as well. Rotisserie chicken lays. Those are good. Do you good, have good. any facts you want to share with us from oh, the snack crate? Let's see what we have here. Thing. There's always a little insert that tells you fun facts or just facts about the country. Uh, one of the King Louis was just King of France for just over 20 minutes. It's the sh shortest ever reign in monarch history. Interesting. But of course, because I only know some of the Roman numerals, I don't know which one he is. So, <laughs> <laughs> Producer of the most expensive wine in the world, a 73 year old bottle of French Burgundy sold at auction for a mind blowing $558,000. Wow. The French eat around. Also, I wonder if somebody bought that to drink, like if somebody is that richy rich, right. that they bought it to be like, to celebrate something and they actually are gonna drink it. Or are they a collector? You know, some people just collect bottles oh, sure. of wine just to have in their collection. I could see somebody buying that, spending all that money for it, and then just like smashing the top off of it. Yeah, see <laughs> Yeah. 
73 year old, that's not too bad, you know. Older wine will turn to vinegar, but I don't know if that will. Anyways, the French eat around 60 million metric tons of snails each year. That's a lot of snails. That's a lot of snails. But you know what? I, I hear you don't need as much farmland to, to raise snails. As you do, like, buffalo and cow and, and pigs and stuff. Yeah, they take we up a lot. We probably have a snail farm right here. They take up a lot <laughs> less space. You do that, I'll be out doing something else. Um, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, we've never been. That would definitely be on our list of places to go. And I feel like I would just want to eat bread and cheese and pastries and, like, try all of the things yeah. but until we can go or until we have someplace local open up which i that ain't happening yeah <laughs> um this was fun to try snacks in the meantime so yes. if you have any additional information on any of these snacks or on other things that we should try let us know in the comments come find us on instagram if you haven't already love and junk with no d and if you're on Facebook, if you'd rather join us on Facebook, our Instagram feeds to Facebook. So that's another good way to find us. Come find us on our travel, vlog, other yes. stuff. DIY Lots channel. Lots of cool videos so, going up over there. Yeah, we just got home from vacation. So we're starting to work through all of that editing. So if you don't want to miss out on any of the travel stuff, make sure that you are subscribed to our other channel as well as our game channel. We will put a link to subscribe to all of our channels down in the comments of this video. Now, if you love Snack Crate or the foods from France or us, or the video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.